Tonight's investigation takes place in a historic hotel turned residential home. Built in 1870, the Union Hotel sat proudly in the town of Dayton, Nevada. Today it's owned by the Hasbrooks, two scientists who started a three-year-long project to restore the hotel. It wasn't long into the renovation when the skeptic couple started to notice some odd things happening around their home. It started with voices, footsteps and doorknobs turning on their own. Then came mysterious orbs of light and eventually full-bodied apparitions. One of them being the ghost of young Iva. Once her mother was admitted to an asylum, she was forced to live with her grandmother who owned the hotel. Her memoirs indicate it was anything but easy living. Several people have also witnessed the lady in grey roaming the corridors. Could this be Iva's mother perhaps? Let's find out, shall we? Welcome back to Ghost Club Paranormal. I am currently in the Union Hotel and even though it's called Union Hotel, it's actually somebody's home. I am joined with Zena, the cat here, um, and a few other furry friends that you'll probably see throughout the episode. I am also here with Michael from Glow and Ghost Paranormal and also Patrick from The Haunted Side. I'm gonna go ahead and join them in just a second here and sorry for the absolute sweaty mess that I am right now. I am in the desert, it is 100 degrees, and um, yeah, we're, we're just rolling with it. We're just gonna go with it tonight. I have been wanting to investigate somebody's home for a very long time. Um, these people are out of town right now, don't worry, we're allowed in here. They kind of remind me of like Adam and Barbara from Beetlejuice. <laughs> <laughs> Their house is just so unique. I'm currently in the bathroom right now. Um, this bathroom actually does give me shining vibes though. Just a little bit here with like the curtain and the bathtub. <laughs> They do say that their home is extremely haunted. Um, of course, it's historic, um, but it does have a lot of ghost stories surrounding it. So we are here to see if we can pick up on any of that energy and maybe experience some of the weird things in this home that have been happening to them too. Okay, so it's just past midnight. We are all gonna make our way upstairs. We're gonna start upstairs. Patrick is gonna do an Estes method by himself alone in one room. And me and Michael, one room. And me and Michael, we're gonna ask some questions and uh, see if we get any hits with that. I'm hearing knocking back there. The light just turned off. Your light just turned off? You just turned off, I'm done. Can you hear that? And this thing is like, Solid blue. Solid blue. And it is hot in here. So that means that there's something cold standing right in front of it. Can you throw something? Mm. Did you just turn off again? Mm-hmm. Weird. Okay, I just went down to the basement by myself to go grab a piece of equipment that we left down there as we were just doing like a little warm up. Um, and I had that flashlight. I'm so glad that that thing didn't turn off on me. Those knocks. I don't know. I got put this away now. You what? <laughs> I'm always eating in your videos. I know. Okay, let's go upstairs and see what Patrick is doing right now. All right, so we're gonna go into the next room. He's gonna put his headphones on uh, with the spirit box and we're gonna ask questions and he's gonna shout what comes through the spirit box. You look like you're getting ready for the OnlyFans. <laughs> That's what everybody <laughs> said. I got into the bed and I took my shoes off and they're all like, this is about to get interesting. I was like, brown chicken brown. This room is probably the one with the most activity, right? Oh yeah. Where you're standing is where I got kissed on the cheek the very first time I was in this building. Right where you're standing. Like I felt. And now I'm. Did you just hear that? No. Mm -hmm. After you did that, it, it made the noise outside in the hallway the same exact noise. Are you serious? I'm, I'm just not kidding. I hope my camera picked it up. Oh man, that is awesome. All right, so we're gonna be in this room. We also have a spirit portal. I don't know if you can see that, so we might even get some hits over the spare portal. 
Is there anybody in the room with Patrick right now? Yes. yes. Yeah. Did anybody follow us from the basement up, up to the third floor? Female voice said, I like it here. I like it here. Which probably means that she likes it better on the third floor. Voice said, join me. Join you where? In the room with Patrick? Oh, what was that noise? That was a loud knocking noise. Yeah, we just heard, uh... Was that the spirit? Yeah. Some... What? Yeah. Some... What the hell is going on? Found, uh... I don't know if that was Patrick or like if something actually like fell over in one of these rooms that we just walked by. But the spirit portal said hi. I definitely heard something fall, right? Yes, I because heard something fall. I just went fall. in there and looked at Patrick. He's just laying there still like, he didn't hear it. like. Like nothing, and it sounded like loud in that room. You would have thought he would have heard it, even even with the headphones yeah. on. Yeah. Because we heard it all the way over here. Did you just and she's there. throw something? Oh, man's voice just went. The Lord made me. The Lord what? made me. He said a man's voice said the Lord made me. I'm gonna count down from three, and after three, I want you to prove that you are here with us. Three, two. One. I want you to speak so clearly through the spirit box to Patrick and tell him who you are. Why are you here? It's like he didn't even hear that. I know. I don't even think that that's coming from his room. You asked me to. A man's voice was like, you asked me to. Oh my god. We asked you to loud noise. I said, you asked me to do it. I got the chill so bad. And as I was I just got my freezing camera down here, there's a window at the end and it looked like like a shadow like passed through. Get back. Get, Get back. back. That was like right as I was like about to walk through the door as well. What do you want? Did you hear that? That sounded like coming through the spirit portal. It sounded like it said you. Mm -hmm. A man's voice just said you? A man's voice just said you. I'm going to switch up. I'm going to go in the other room. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then I'll get Patrick through here. I'll put the headphones in. And we'll see if I hear anything come through. <laughs> I feel so bad having to do that. Okay, it sounds like something wants me in here, so I'm gonna take over. By all means. I'm ready. If you're here, can you come up and talk to me? Or actually, can you go in that room and talk to her? Oh, it just, it was just said heavens. It just, it was just said heavens. Really clear. He appeared to his father. Father? How long have you been there? Or how long have you been here? I've been here for two years. I am here. I just heard a laugh. Oh, it is freezing in this room right now. Yeah. Oh, did you hear that? The voice came to the spirit box and said, dead. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you're right there. I was like, are we done with this yet? I feel like I've been here for a very long time. Did you guys get anything Yeah, that good? was pretty crazy. Yeah. Was it really? Yeah, it was pretty nuts. The voices coming through were really strong this time, much stronger than in the basement. When I was doing it, there was like a deep, like, male voice that kept coming through, and it sounded like you were hearing the same voice, because it was like, 
Oh, no, no, no. It was very, very yeah, strong. Very, 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 deep. very strong, yeah. I kind of had a feeling that that was the same voice that you were listening to, because, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm going to take your word for it, but that was a pretty intense Estes method. Um, I know that whatever was coming through that thing was coming through strong. Um, you have investigated here many, many times before, mm -hmm. and uh, you've had a lot of really creepy things happen as well. So where would you say is the most active? We talked about the room upstairs, but other than that, where have other apparitions been seen around here? So they get woken up kind of in their bedroom a lot mm -hmm. um, by this glowing ball. Uh, of light. Mm -hmm. uh, they see it in all three of the bedrooms, um, but most often they get woken up here. Um, the basement really is the other place we've had like the majority of the activity. Let's see if... Michael, are you down here? What? Are you down here? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I asked again. So there's a coffin right there. So Michael has, has his REM pod set up here with the necrophonic app on. I have my REM pod just sitting right here. If anything goes close to it, it's gonna set it off. We should turn our lights off. Okay, we can do night vision. Is there anybody down here that would like to communicate and say hello to us? Yes. Yeah. I feel like there's somebody directly to the right of me, and I just heard some tapping. Well said me. Did you hear that? Yeah. And that was coming from right over by you. It was not coming from the necrophonic app is over there. I heard, I, I heard a, a me. Okay. I am shivering. I freaked out just a little bit because I turned, I turned to my left, and when I turned to my left, in the dark, it looked like I saw like a face in front of me. That is really strange. Did you? But did you hear a woman or a girl say me? Yeah. Can you speak for us again? Did you hear it right behind to my left? I can definitely hear something moving over by you. You want to come over here for a little bit? Yeah, I'll come over there. I'll trade the spots with you. Well, the voice that I heard, it was it was coming from like right here. I would say if I was to stand anywhere, it was coming from like right here. I was standing right here next to the coffin. <laughs> and um, yeah, you were just over in that back corner there. But because I knew the necrophonic cap was coming from my left. Mm -hmm. This voice came from the right. And I really hope that my camera picked up on that. I just heard a woman talk. Can you confirm that you're down here with us? By touching one of these devices that we have set up. By knocking something over. By talking again. Whoever I was talking to upstairs in the bedroom, can you come down here? Are you here with me? Go ahead and touch one of those devices and make that red light turn green for us. It may be, it might just be my mind, but in the dark, uh -huh. I, I just keep, I keep seeing like faces next to me and it's always to the right of me. Mm -hmm. Just as you said that, I heard a little tap over here. Yeah, you hear, I heard you heard the tap again. You hear that? Uh-huh. Uh, there's a cat down here. It just felt like... There's a cat down here? How? How did that cat get down here? I just felt like something touched the back of my head over there. The door slightly opened a little bit. That's how the cat got down here, but... I just felt like something... I... I'm sorry, I literally... Okay. That is weird because... Okay. Earlier, when I was down here, um, I done an S's method down here in the basement. Um, this isn't on the episodes. Um, it's going to be on the Haunted Sides Live. But 
I was doing the SS method right in that corner and I kept on feeling a tap on the back of my neck. Do you remember? Yeah. I, oh no, I'm just like, right at the moment, like I'm just spooked. It's, oh my God, where's it going? Wait, where did it go? It's up there. Oh my go. It's up there. Oh my go. It's up there. Oh my gosh. Kitty, why, why are you up there? You can't be up there. Go back inside, kitty. <laughs> that really... That made me jump. So, in this room here... This is where the owners see like a glowing light. They say they've seen it multiple times in this room. Balls of light, like, show up in this room. And, well, also... Did you hear that? Yeah. It sounded like a... Like a, like a hiss. Almost. Like show up in this room. Like show up in this room. We've never done this before. Well, yeah. So yeah. a lot of times when mediums are doing like seances or trance type of work, um, they will use either no light at all in the room mm -hmm. or like a red light. Um, for whatever reason, um, spirit energy manifests really well with it. So a lot of times when people are doing seances, if they have a red light or no light at all, then um, you'll see um, orbs, balls of light, sometimes ectoplasm like coming out of people, stuff like that. Well, God, why am I like, I'm very disorientated in this room. I know you're laughing at me, but like, and, and you're probably just like, Jade, it's just you, but I've been totally fine the entire night and I'm not actually like tired or anything like that. <sighs> I just feel off in this room. Anyway, we're gonna set up this device as well. If you put your hand in front of it, you'll see it turns red. It will, so you'll see my hand's kind of far away and as I get closer, it will light up. So you kind of get the gist of that. And uh, if there's something cold coming in, that will turn blue. If there's any spirits around us or nearby, could you please come into this room? You can use our energy to manifest yourself. If you're here, please give us a sign. It's like, get out of the way, bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna sit here. And I'm actually just going to, like, while I'm here, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do what I would do when I sit in the power mm -hmm. and just um, close my eyes and try to expand my energy and see if anything comes through or okay. if that helps anything. And it'll be your eyes, so I'll keep mine peeled while you try and channel. Device with the grid is lighting up blue because I keep seeing flashing in that corner. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk over there. Why what? Did I do that? that is going off. What was like? I know that that was the cats, but like, that's okay. Stop. Oh. They both just ran out of here. My heart is literally going. I don't know what the hell that was all about. They just took that. off out of this room. It was weird because, okay, so the cat was just on the bed right there. You were sitting over there. I was filming. I was filming the cat? Because the cat's face was like, the head was like, keep on looking at you, and then it would look over at the door, and then it would look over at you, and then it would look over at the door. And I just got weird, and then that's when I realized that this was turning blue, it's actually going blue again. Well, because when I was sitting there, um, 
When I was sitting there, I was asking any spirits to come to me, come near me. And so, it, it was weird that the cat was then looking by me. That's, uh, I'm gonna move this into the doorway so mm -hmm. we can see, like, it lighten up. Because I wasn't, I know that your camera was sitting up here, but... Go for it. Yeah. And, uh, okay, so we're gonna move this device over here. I think whatever you were doing over on that chair was helping. Yes. Please do that again. So, so you can see there that it's okay. it's clear, it's not blue, it's not red. Anything that walks in front of that grid, it will turn red or it will turn blue. Can you come closer, please? Can you walk closer towards the door? Thank you. Can you come into the door frame right there? Wow. If you can stand right in between the door frame right there. If you have that energy. Can you come closer? Nice, good job. You don't have to be afraid of us. The cat is very curious. Now it's gonna go red because the cat's gone right up to it. Oh my gosh. Well, at least we know it works. It's like whatever is there is just standing right in the doorway. It's not even like in the door frame. It's, it's just outside the door. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cat? Were you messing with the cats earlier? Wait a second. Look at the cat. What? Look at the cat staring at the light. Oh my Look gosh. It's just lighting up blue. That's like completely blue. Can you speak through the spirit portal for me? Give me a strong yes or no if you're here with us. I don't know what. Mom. Mom? It sounded like it said mom. Who's here with us? Can you give us a name? I just came down to the first floor where Patrick is and um, he said when we were upstairs there's a REM pod set up, that little blue light in the background there. Uh, he did say that he got some activity on the REM pod uh, which is kind of interesting because that's kind of like directly below where we were and where we were getting activity so I definitely feel a presence here but I just think whatever is here has been here for a while. It's almost like it's still running like a hotel yeah. and uh, they don't mind us being here but it's just kind of like stay in your own lane. <laughs> like, that's just the vibe that I get. I'll just ask them if I can move in <laughs> and just permanently look after their cats. Yeah, it's sure. like that's the life right there. Well, it's way past my bedtime um, and we have so much more investigations to do this week. Um, I'm really excited for you guys to see the next episodes. If you haven't seen the last episode, um, I will link it at the end of this video here. And um, if you want to go follow Michael from Glow and Ghost Paranormal or Patrick from The Haunted Side, I will also leave their, their, oh my gosh. If you want to go ahead and follow Michael or Patrick from The Haunted, oh my God. Okay, hold on. This is honestly, this is the time of night where I just, I just can't, I just can't. If you want <laughs> 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 
If you want to go ahead and follow Michael from Glow Goes Paranormal, or if you wanted to go ahead and follow Patrick from The Haunted Side, I will link their channels in the description below. If you enjoyed this episode, go ahead, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, see you soon. Boy, that really was a show.